Well, you know that feeling when you go up a roller coaster, that first hill, click, 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 you're slowly grinding to the top and you know what's ahead, a big drop. Well, that's what our temperature forecast kind of looks like. We're on that uphill swing as we head into tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, a very warm day Friday, but look at that drop. Oh my goodness, it's gonna feel chilly on Sunday. These are high temperatures, my looking at 38 for a high on Sunday with a little bit of snow in our forecast. We'll get to that in just a second. Let's get through the short term though for now. A cold front is moving through the area tonight, really not causing much more than just a few clouds, maybe a sprinkle late tonight, and that's about it. This is basically a dry front. We'll see a switch of wind direction, and the winds will get a little gusty tomorrow. Temperatures all over the place. We're in the 30s in some of the deeper valleys, mid-30s at that. 40s on some of the ridges, so as we move through the overnight hours, some of our temperatures may actually rise as we've seen a southwesterly wind kick in, and we may see some of that cold air mix out of those deep valleys uh, overnight tonight. Trough will start to lift out. That means our temperatures will start to warm up as we head into Thursday and Friday. By Friday, we're looking at widespread 70s across the area. Some of the mountain areas will still be in the 60s. And then the cold air moves in. A big trough starts to dig into the east, bringing lots of chilly temperatures for us as we move into the weekend, so get ready for it. Cold front will move through on Saturday. It'll give us a few rain showers, which is good news. We need some rain out there, but it's not gonna be very much. That precip moves out. Then we get a pretty broad northwest flow starting to develop as we head into Sunday. And those snow showers will continue along those western slopes as we move through the day Sunday, maybe even into Monday morning on those western slopes. And you know, we talk about that a lot. What is upslope snow? Well, basically, when you have wind that slams into the mountains just like this. It has to go somewhere, so it goes up. Well, when air rises, it cools, it expands, and usually it condenses and it forms clouds. And if those clouds get big enough, we start to see snow showers develop, usually in those upslope areas. Now on the downslope side, say on the other side of this mountain where we don't see it, we get sinking air and generally those snow showers really aren't there. That's why we see more snow along the western slopes and I think that's what we're going to see as we move into the weekend and those western slopes run from about here, western Greenbrier County, Pocahontas County, down through about flat top right along that border of Mercer, McDowell and Wyoming counties, then through eastern Tazewell County, south through Mount Rogers. I think that's where we stand to see the best chance for accumulating snow and even there it's not like a lot of snow headed our way. All right, let's talk about tomorrow. Sunshine in our forecast after some morning clouds and and then, you know, we stay dry heading into Thursday, so a pretty quiet forecast, at least for the next couple of days. Tonight, again, those clouds will be around, a few sprinkles possible, temperatures all over the place in the 30s, some 40s too on those ridges. Tomorrow it'll be breezy, sun and clouds, an isolated sprinkle possible with highs in the mid and upper 50s, a few places getting close to 60. There's that warm weather Thursday and Friday and the cool down on Saturday. Rain shower changing to snow showers, accumulations by Sunday. We could see an inch or two on the western slopes. Some of the lower elevations is not going to see hardly anything, but the big deal is the cold chill that's coming yeah, this week. Except on Friday. Beautiful weather on Friday. Yeah, especially for football. Uh, that's yeah.